guys, it's been a little while since I've posted a video, but hello, I am back with something a bit different. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about this new tattoo that I got. You can't, it's kind of awkward to show you guys. Um, it is my third tattoo, and all three of my tattoos have been done by the same artist who is now a good friend of mine. So I will link his Instagram in the below bar in case you want to get inspired or even tattooed by him if you're in the area. So I designed this one by myself and I absolutely adore it. So this is my biggest tattoo that I've gotten thus far but there's there's more coming. I wanted to make a video with kind of the healing process so I take you along every day. I film it up close. It gets kind of gnarly. Just forewarning. And I just want to state I am in no way a professional. I am not telling you that the things I do in this video are the right way to take care of a tattoo. This is what works for me. Um, is pretty much what my artist told me to do. I've adjusted it slightly to work for my body, but I would always recommend following the directions that your artist gives you. Just to show you kind of what happens to it, because when I got my first tattoo, Google was my best friend. Literally every day I was like, is this normal? Is this normal? Is this normal? Like, is it infected? So I thought this would be a helpful video for a lot of people who are on their first tattoo or just want like some reassurance that like things are going to happen to your tattoo. It is a wound. It, it's a process. Every tattoo has to go through. Of course, it is going to be worse on larger tattoos like this rather than um, like my other tattoos which are just words um, or just line work. It's not as bad. The, this was by far the worst peeling I've ever had in my life. <laughs> well, besides sunburns because I'm white AF. If you have any other questions about any of my tattoos, I have photos of them in my Instagram which is also linked in the below bar. Um, just comment whatever. I love talking about tattoos. Here is all the clips of my tattoo healing. Bye guys! So a couple hours after I got the tattoo, I went home and I took the plastic wrap off and just cleaned it with soap, which I will demonstrate in the next uh, clip. So it's just kind of red and swollen and feels like a sunburn. But day two, it is starting to secrete quite a bit, as you can see at the more heavily worked areas, and it's quite sore. Um, more on the flower area, the line work towards the bottom really doesn't hurt at all. What you want to do is two times a day you're going to use mild unscented soap. Keep mine in a little soap dish away from my family because I don't want to get bacteria from anybody else in my tattoo. So you want to get lukewarm water and make sure your hands are very clean, please. Um, so you're just gonna lather it up like so and then gently rub it on your tattoo. You have to be very gentle, not scrub too hard or anything. You kind of have to baby it at this point. And then just rinse it off. Blot it a little bit. Um, you don't want to rub or anything and I always recommend using paper towel because it doesn't hold bacteria. And then this is just what it looks like after it's all clean. And by day three it was starting to dry up which is when I start moisturizing so I clean it then I take Lubriderm cream um, this is one of the many creams you could use to moisturize your tattoo and I moisturize it two to three times a day um, especially well yeah three times especially during the itchy phase which is absolutely lovely so you don't want to like drench it like I did so if you put way too much like I did you're going to want to blot it off with a paper towel so it should just look like that so day four it is starting to dry up and it's going to peel very soon which is a lot of fun it's about to get pretty gross it's not itchy yet but just wait Day five. I felt really gross when people were like looking at it and being like, ew, what happened to your tattoo? But it's totally normal. Then day six, 
it was really, really peeling. And you never, ever want to peel your tattoo. It can actually pull some of the ink out. So it, it's, it's hard not to pick it, but moisturizer is your best friend, really. Uh, day seven, it was still peeling, but uh, quite a bit of an improvement from the day before. Day eight, most of the peeling is gone, just uh, some of the darker areas. It's still hanging around, but soon. By day nine, it's pretty much healed. Your skin is gonna stay a bit shiny where the line work is done for a bit, but that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.